Where are we? What? A pink and white block? What? Oh, hi. Oleander? It's more so Oleander. But you can call me Mori or Oli. I'm gonna call Coach you Oleander? A son of a bitch. What are you doing in my mind? How did you get in my happy meadow? Nobody's supposed to know about it. You didn't tell my dad about it, did you? <laughs> oh, that's him! Oh no! Come on, little bunny! We'll be safe in here! Oh, huh. well, that's a bit odd. Can we break these? No. <laughs> What's going on? Jeez, this is... Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Psychonauts with me, OXFU. We gotta go find Oleander. Uh... Not really sure I want to, uh... Go in here. And I think I need to rate this, uh... As a mature video now. <laughs> Ugh. Anyway, ooh, mental cobwebs. Mental cobwebs out the wazoo. Anyway, guys. Ooh. The Aquatos. Those, like, C-3PO's. Wait, what does that say? Something skinny-ish guy. <laughs> Kid Lasagna! <laughs> He's dead. Oh, they're all dead. Fat ladies. Alive. Bunnies are alive. What does this say? I've never actually looked at these before. Knife. I can't read that. Knife something. The Gaussios are dead. Okay, the Aquatos are alive. Aw oh, man. The meat is alive! Oh, thank god. Without the meat. Oh, knife thrower. Okay. I think that's it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Alligator Boy is dead. Damn, Alligator Boy and Lasagna Kid are both dead. That's depressing. What kind of world do we live in? Okay. The circus I remember from my childhood was definitely not made of meat. The last time I checked. No! No! Little Buddy, don't go in there! <laughs> and it just got stuck on the... Oh, Rasputin, your journey has made you much wiser, so why do you still hoard your goods like a miser? The items you've scavenged, the webs, the cards, and brains, just to redeem them is all that remains. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have redeemed them all. Yeah, I've redeemed pretty much all of them. I mean, cobwebs, no, but... Oh, jeez, what's going on with that thing? Anyway, welcome, everybody to hell. And no, I am not exaggerating. This is the this is the meat circus, the hardest level in the entire game. And it is it is almost too hard. Uh I actually did whoa. I actually did not beat this game on my own until very recently. Because that's how hard it is. So, a lot of people end up, so far as I know, a lot of people actually end up getting this far. They try getting through the next couple of rooms and then they give up because, well, it's really, really freaking hard. We collect some emotional baggage while we're here, though. Because we got all this other, we got, we got plenty of things to do, we, we don't want to... Waste time. Let's see what the ticket the ticket booth salesman has to say. Oh, cool! He just gives us a side card. Oh no no no! He he redeems the cards. I see. Huh? I did not actually know that. Actually, I'm guessing he redeems like everything, like cobwebs and stuff like that. So I, I've actually actually never knew, known that. So that's cool. Yeah. <sighs> 
Okay. He runs a butcher shop. He wants to make food out of them. Oh, that's right. Mari's old man was a butcher. It looks like your childhood memories of the circus got all mixed up with his childhood memories of his dad's butcher shop. My memories were bad enough. This is just gross. Uh-oh. <sighs> we don't need no education. You'd better keep that kid out of trouble. With your brains all scrambled like this, what happens to him happens to you. It's almost like a Silent Hill enemy. Jeez. Anyway, so the reason this is hard is because, like Ford just said, well, Ole er, Oleander has his own health uh, meter. And we have to protect him. And as far as I know, there is no way to give him back health. There might be? I have no idea. I'm gonna collect these quick because otherwise we're gonna be spending a lot of more time getting them later. I mean, we can always come back. But pretty much what we have to do, because he's chasing after the bunny, we have to hold it until he gets over to it. And he's gonna fly away! And we get to repeat the whole song and dance again. Except this time, he's high up. And... We gotta get there, too. <laughs> and like Rasputin said, this is like the circus, so... We get to... do a lot of trapeze stuff, a lot of different jumping around and all that stuff. It's really, it's really fun. No, it's not. This is, this is, this piece does not stay fun in any regards. Especially because then you have times like this where you have to hold the bunny. But Oleander has to go past the the spawner. And these times can actually take quite a while. And his health does not regenerate between times. Now this is the one that as far as I know a lot of people get stuck on because... Oh no, it does regenerate. Okay, I was wrong about that. I thought it didn't, but a lot of people usually get stuck on this one just because, well, you'll see. There's a lot of stuff you gotta do that are that is not entirely fair. Okay, so, how do we get over there again? Oh, uh, no, sorry, we were, we were supposed to take that, uh, that rail. Whoops, my fault. But this is why this level is hard, because if you fall, you fall. <laughs> That's it. You you pretty much have a lost life there. I do not think I'm gonna make it to Oleander this time. Once you get up to Oleander, it, it's relatively easy. Like, I was making it out to be like, oh, you gotta take care of the guys while you're protecting Oleander, but it's honestly not that bad. This is what's hard. In order to platform up this thing, you need to get this guy to throw knives at this. And then you have to jump on the knives and hope that you can get over to the platform that's above. It's a really cool idea, but it doesn't really work. Because then if you miss it, it has to go all the way around, and Oleander's just about dead. Because he's got two enemies up there. If it was one enemy, it wouldn't be that big of a deal, but... It is absolutely ridiculous after a time. Oh. Yep, we got Oleander up to the first platform. There are going to be very many, many lives lost in this part of the Let's Play, just because... Well, this room is absolutely stupid. <laughs> I didn't know that you could die if you fell in the meat grinder. That's kind of cool. <laughs> oh man, I've never actually fallen in the meat grinders, so. Okay, we're gonna have to take care of this guy. I'm not gonna hurt you. Come on, Oleander. If only you could run a little bit faster. <laughs> Alright, now be begin our long trek up again. We 
again, none of the none of the elements by themselves are that hard. It's just the combination. I know I'm missing figments, but I'm gonna come back later when I don't have to deal with this. I will probably get very bitter during this episode, just so you know, because this is not easy. And this is not even the hardest part of the level, this is the first hard part of the level. There is one more set of enemies we have to protect him from, and I believe there are two of the swordsmen who whose swords we have to jump off of in that in that one so all right come on Air oh my god just by the skin of my teeth if you do know of an easier way to beat this level please tell me because i hate this level so much <laughs> okay last one the hard one. <laughs> I believe this is the last one. I could be wrong. But of course you've got platforming and here's where you have to really worry about whether you're gonna fall off and if you fall off you might as well just start the level over again. Oh, careful there. Nope, not quite. You gotta kind of double guess yourself and here we go. Okay. I might actually No! See? See what I mean? Once you fall off. Once you fall off, you're screwed. Actually, you know what? This might work. I'm not sure, actually. Oh my god, that is actually a lifesaver. I might still make it. Come on, hurry. I do not want to repeat that room again. I did not knew- I never actually thought to use that. Okay. Come on, Oleander. Get that. Get that rabbit. Oh my god. And I believe that is the last part of the room. Please. Yes, it is. Okay. Whew. Okay. So. I could. I mean, I could go back and get all the figments, but no, screw that. <laughs> Come on. I know you can get up there, because I'm pretty sure we have to get up here. Yep, to get onto the flying trapeze to get over here. And we'll get the tag in the we safe in a we second. <laughs> now it's time for the main event. Come on. Okay, so that is actually the hardest part of the level done, at least in my opinion. I mean, you'll see in a second what I mean. I think that there are there is one other part that is sort of difficult, but it's not really that bad. Who even eats bunnies? Oh, well, this I guess rabbit, but ride. Okay, Tunnel of Love. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. This is just a rail section, so it's not bad comparatively. It's still the one of the harder rail sections in the game, if not the hardest. I don't remember, because you don't usually do rail sections, so... Yeah, we got that guy. And I'm just gonna save quick, because, well... This is difficult. <laughs> and I don't want to let all my hard work go to waste. Because I believe by saving here... Did we get you? Yeah, we did. I believe by saving here we can actually skip that room entirely. Ah, uh, I missed a pigment. Whoops. Get over here. Health. Okay, we're full health. Good. 
double checking. Anything we can get up here? No. Wanna grab everything we can before moving on. Okay, let's go. Tunnel of love. This is difficult, but not ridiculous. Just make sure you jump in the appropriate places. Thank God we don't actually have to make sure the directions are right with the jumps. Otherwise, this would be stupidly difficult. Okay, wasn't sure if we had to hit that or not. There we go! we get all the figments that I missed later. Probably off screen like I did with the, a lot of the other places. Alright, this is where it gets difficult because we gotta... No! No! Lost a bit of speed. <laughs> it's okay, we have enough lives. We can we can miss a few jumps. Because you'll notice I wasn't going as fast as I could have, like I am right now. It's because I wanted, wanted to make sure I didn't fall off, but now... I want to make sure that we... We don't take too long. Okay, slow down. Oh geez, that's why I wanted to make sure I was going kind of slow, because look at... Ugh, there we go. It can get a bit... well, difficult. <laughs> yeah. And I think we've got one more emotional baggage to take care of. Oh no, we got it all. Okay. All emotional baggage sorted. Not just the ones in Oleander's brain. Alright! Time for the main event. Okay, those monsters are gone now. The bunnies are safe. We're all safe. No, it's not safe. He's coming. Who's coming? My dad. Your dad? The butcher? He says little bunnies are good for nothing. Nothing but food. Here, little bunnies. Ah! <laughs> Don't run. Or else daddy's gonna kill ya! <laughs> I would say Oleander's dad is my favorite boss, but that would be a lie. And you'll see what I mean in just a minute by that. Well, a couple of minutes. Anyway. You're going to want to use your shield quite a lot in this fight. Yeah, bunny, it's a pretty easy bunny, fight. Just, bunny. whoa, lost my control for a second. Just run away, use your shield when he uses his cleavers on you. And if you want to... Oh wait, can we shoot him? No, okay. I'm trying to remember. We want to do a specific thing in order to fight him. Oh, I know what it is. Okay. I was, uh... There we go. That's what we want to do. Run up his arm. Come on. And smack him in the face. Which is a pretty cool fight. I mean... <laughs> yeah, you have to be able to dodge. Oh, keep forgetting he does those attacks, too. And you, you never really think, like, Oh, I'm gonna run up his, uh... His arm... Even though there's no sort of indication that I can do that, you just do it. Don't also, make sure you don't fall into the meat grinder in the middle. <laughs> I've done that before. Uh, but usually you can just go around in sort of a circular pattern and you'll, it'll be fine. Oops. Should have thought I was going for the small little chops. Yeah, like this. There we go. I mean, really, this guy is an easy boss, but... Bunny. As I get hurt. That always happens. Whenever I say something's easy, I always get get hurt. Okay, there we go. And just run up. We also get closer to him than any other boss, because we're actually, like, walking on his body. Which is cool. I like his design, too. Just like the... The old... Bunny. Almost barbershop quartet style clothes. 
and you know, like the old class or the old uh, mid-century butcher's clothes. Oops. Thinking he's gonna do his other attack. Oh man, I rolled into that. Yeah, he hits a lot, but he's easy to dodge, so. Just take your time with the guy, and you'll be all set. Come on. That's what I wanted. And smack you in the face. When we're hit, we should be good. And then, well, I think I've already spoiled it a little bit. We're not quite done. <laughs> but I mean, with this game, do you, did you really expect we'd be done? We've got this whatever it is in the background that's going... Rasputin! I'm gonna figure out what's going on with that. I keep forgetting we have confusion grenades because I never use them. Alright, he's done. Right? Oh! Well, if you could hit me at any time, why didn't you? This is the other hardest level in the game. Who are you? What's going on here? What have you done to our circus? Dad! Polluted. Perverted. This looks like the work of mentalists. I can explain. Have you been associating with psychics? Dad, I... Psychics. Fortune tellers. They killed your grandfather. They cursed our entire family to die in water. Yes, but... Including you, Rasputin. And me. But I'm going to live. You know why? Because I'm still an acrobat. Let's see if you are. What's it going to be, son? Die in the water? Or show me what you got? So even though this is one of the hardest rooms in the game, this one is actually fair, I think. And it's actually quite fun, because this is exactly what a final level should be. It's a test of all the acrobats, all the platforming we've done up till this point. And pretty much, it is a race to the top to avoid that water that is now spilling out of the middle. So, let's get started, shall we? Like I said, I really do like this game, this level. Come on, there we go. But it really does feel like our final exam, because if we screw up, if we fall down, that's it. We fail. We lose a life. We gotta do it all over again. Alright, oh, I thought I would've grabbed that. There we go. But I mean, just look at this level. It's a giant stomach that's base that's filling up with acid to digest all these meats that's in it. It's fantastic. I mean... <laughs> I would say this is probably the most imaginative level for part of a level, just because of that. And we get to do all this platforming without any real danger, except for, well, Rasputin's father throwing those fireballs at us. But otherwise, it's just... Oh, and there is this part, which you gotta make sure... Platform right, because th this can be actually pretty difficult, and that right there is probably the hardest jump in the game. <laughs> also, make sure you don't jump on the ends. I've done that so many times, but you have to actually jump off to that stake, off to the left right there. You can't do that from the inside. Okay, ready? Oh, no. Get the levitation. Now I'm an acrobat, but how was I supposed to do this without psychic powers, huh? Huh, Dad? Tell me that. This seems like it's a little biased now, don't you think? I've never actually been hit by the projectiles while 
he throws them at me and miss. Because you're always moving. It's not hard to dodge. Eh. Alright, and timing. Oh, almost got that one. Oh, oh, oh. No, I... Oh, I cannot. I keep trying to, uh... Oh, well, we can tank that entire thing. I kept trying to, uh... Use... To get shield out while he was doing that, but I guess I can't do that while on lines. I love this part, really. Just sliding down the ladder that's going all over the place, too. Uh... I think this is it. I think we are done. Maybe? I don't know, I remember there being a couple of things after this. No, we're good! Dad, I made it! You cheated! No! I used the acrobatics you taught me! Don't lie to me, cheater! You crystal ball readers always cheat! You're no son of mine! Oh, well, damn. Thought you'd be a little more receptive, Dad. And you are my father, after all. Oli, are you okay? Where's your dad? He's over there, talking to your dad. <laughs> he did what? Uh-oh. Somebody's going to get grounded! <laughs> Make that ground. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so now we have both Oleander's dad and Rasputin's dad to take care of. Uh, I believe I'm correct. The fight with Oleander's dad in this case is actually a little easier because what we have to do is actually... Oh! We actually have to throw these at Oleander's dad, and then smack him in the face. So like I said, it's pretty easy. If you don't die. <laughs> Again, he hits for a lot, so... Oh. Please, Mr. Just make sure you don't get hit by these either. It's always my problem. Alright. I think we're good. I think we're gonna get him this time. Oh, come on, we hit him. Huh. He's just not taking the damage. I'm not gonna hurt you. Well, shield is extremely useful in this in this case at least. So I'm just gonna keep spamming that. Do you have to hit his knee with it? I can never remember. It seems you just throw it at him and that works. Stupid. There we go. Fortunately, there's plenty of health drops as well, so... Maybe you're having a little problem. It's not that bad. Yeah, I used to like to play catch before you were throwing flaming maces at me. Yeah, I don't believe that, Dad. Whoops. Oh, it just does so much damage. There we go. Last one. We got him. Oh no, not in the meat grinder. I mean, nobody really deserves that. What? Dad? I see your skull is as hard to penetrate as ever. Dad! What is your brain doing out here in this tank with this other brain? And who are all these unconscious people? What have you gotten yourself involved with, psychics? He's been cavorting with filthy, cheating psychics! Is that really... Is that really how I look in your mind? Man, do I hate psychics! And seeing my son happy. I don't hate psychics. I used my psychic connection with you to find you. And to project myself into your mind. But how can you hate me for being psychic if you're psychic too? Son, I could never hate you. I only wanted you to be happy, Rasputin. And safe. Our family has many enemies. I am 
have a lot more hair than that. Now, son, we have to carefully unweave your psyche from that other brain. We don't want anything bad to happen while your mind is in this tangled state. The damage could be permanent. Bad things to happen like that, maybe? This way. I mean, look at how huge I am. <laughs> and I think I can juggle now. <laughs> <laughs> this is your mind, so you are the strong one here. But I'm about to give you, my son. You must take care of it, because it's everything I've got. Well, time for a battle of the titans. I'm not really sure. I do like... Oh! <laughs> Careful there. Shoot. <laughs> Thought we got it. We would be able to get a hit on him at least before I shrank. Anyway, what I was gonna say is this is my favorite boss, at least personality-wise. As far as boss fight, this is pretty much oh, you you know you've already actually beaten the hard ones, so we're gonna give you a little bit of fun, <laughs> which there's nothing wrong with that either. I think it's well fun. So we're just gonna have to wait a bit, you know, run away from him, wait for, wait to recharge, because the only way we can really damage him right now is when we're giant. Fortunately, there's plenty of uh, health drops as we do this. Just keep wailing on him. I like when games end like this. You know, they give you the hard stuff, and then they're like, you know what? They actually had to struggle for this. We're gonna give you something fun. So we get to destroy something that is absolutely unquestionably Come evil here, in the buddy. best way possible. As a Godzilla fight. <laughs> Gamera versus Godzilla versus Mothra versus I don't know any other names from those movies. There you go, you son of a bitch. You're done. We've gone to plaid! <laughs> Bunnies! No! No meat! <laughs> no more. No more meat. Look. There you go! Good little bunny! <laughs> hey, thanks for helping me save the bunnies. And for talking to my dad. Uh, no problem, little Oli. Bye-bye! Wave goodbye, Mr. Bun! <laughs> Where's he going? We're separating the brains now, Rasputin. He'll be fine. Let's go inside. Man, I can't wait to tell you about all the messed up stuff that happened. Oh, I know a lot of it. While you were out, I poked around a bit. Tell me about this lily person. Hey! <laughs> and so, that brings us to the end. Where, as you can clearly see, the personal demons causing my negative behavior have all been eradicated, leaving me sane once again. This is also corroborated in catch scan number three on page 59 of your handouts. On a personal note, I would just like to reiterate how extremely, extremely sorry I am for stealing all of your brains and trying to take over the world. <laughs> Mistakes have been made, but this camp is all about education. And I know I, for one, learned plenty. Thanks to that guy right there. Come on up here, Raz. 
We endeavor to build strong minds here, with the power to lift things, to see things, to burn things. But it's a special quality of your heart, not your mind, that truly makes a great psychonaut. This young man has it. We did not give it to him. He got it from someone else long before he came here. But we can give him this to honor his mind, a turtle his back. courage, and his heart. Son, we do not normally ask this of someone so young, but it is obvious to us all that you are not average. Will you join us, Rasputin? Will you be a psychonaut? <gasps> <gasps> Well, it's not a merit badge, but... Uh, I don't like that he loses the helmet, although he's got to look official, I guess, so... But the helmet made him Rasputin. Ah, well. Everybody's got to grow up. Okay, quick, you can see the original character for Psychonauts, Dartagan, right there! Okay, let's be perfectly clear about this. That was the best summer of my whole entire life. Hey, the summer's not over yet. We can hang out for a couple of weeks still. My family's out on the East Coast. Where's yours? They move around a lot. Hmm. Well, you'd better go. Your dad's waiting for you. Um, well... Bye. Oh. Children, it's an emergency. There's been another kidnapping. I was here the whole time. <laughs> you saw me. No, this time we know who it is, and that's what scares us. Who was kidnapped? Truman Zanotto, the grand head of the psychonauts. Dad. Sir, can you teleport this many of us back to headquarters? Huh? What? Hey, hey, what are you people doing in my kitchen? Now get! Guess we're taking the jet. And this is why people. This is why. Everybody's been expecting a Psychonauts 2. Because it's set up like a serial cartoon. Back, we'll get him back. <laughs> yes, after all, we'll have Rasputin helping us. I'm going? Now, how could we do this without our anti-kidnapping specialist? I've taught you everything I can, son. Now, you go show them. Show them all. Let's go. It is. It's built exactly like a serial cartoon or serial spy show. Like, Get Smart or something. And it's fantastic. I love this game. Well, I love parts of this game. <laughs> but we've been there before. Anyway, the cast! Richard Horvitz, of course. I don't know most of these other people. But... You know, you'll some of you will probably be like, Hey, that guy! I know that guy! And we'll watch a slideshow of cool photos that were never in the game. These are- these are- These are good credits, too. <laughs> anyway. That has been Let's Play Psychonauts with MioXFu, and... It's been a bit of a rocky... A bit of a rocky let's play, to say the least. I'm always surprised that people don't know about this game. Really surprised. Because, I mean, I never got it when I was a kid when it was coming out, but I still knew about it. Just saying. Tara Strong, there's another name for Shigor. I do know that, that person. But no, beside... I, I don't know. There are pacing issues, which I feel... Oh, Steve Blum! For the uh, G-Men, I didn't know that. Huh. And Tiger and the Lungfish Zealot. Or whatever it said. 
like I said, there there's some pacing issues. I've gone over that in the Let's Play, but I think that the the game as a whole is pretty fun. And even though that last level is really, really hard, uh, the first time you play it, there's still very it's still very fun at points. Like I think that part where you're fighting where you're racing the fake dad to the top of the tent is fantastic. Thank you, Tim Schafer, and Double Fine for your great game. And thank you, everybody who's been watching this Let's Play, because... Again, I know it's been a rocky Let's Play, and a lot of you have been very patient. I mean, I always feel like I could do a Let's Play better. This is another one of those where it's like, ah, man, I wish I could do much more for this Let's Play, because a lot of it's just me being like, Haha, what they said was funny! Well, except for the for Lungfishopolis. I love that episode. I love that level so much. <laughs> but then that epi that that level I was just fawning over it the entire time. <laughs> but that is it. Oh, it's finally done. Yes, it's finally done. Ah. It just took a while because I was sick, you know? Uh, I love Edgar as a character as well, and also Chief Orderly Bonaparte. Thank you, Tim Schafer and Eric Wolpaw, for that great dialogue. Us. Is this the, uh, no, this is still, uh, Boyd. <laughs> I'm looking for a specific picture. That's why I keep going back to it. I am gonna do a couple of extra episodes just because there's extra stuff I have to get with figments and other stuff I haven't collected yet. Uh, there are a couple of... Oh, there's one or two little glitches I want to show off that I never got the chance to. But for the most part, yeah, it's done. And what should be coming next? Hmm, I'm not sure. Oh, thank you for 2011 Update Group for getting this game onto Steam and all that. It's fantastic. By the way, if I haven't stressed it enough before, this game is on Steam. If you've never played this game before and you're just watching this video, go buy the game. It really is fun. <laughs> And you'll, you'll have it forever. Well, as long as Steam stays around. Oh well. I do love the art style in Edgar's level too, just all the black velvet art. Uh, there is something I have to show off in Edgar's level as well that I forgot about. But we'll, we'll get back to that later. Yeah, yeah, you would like to thank all these people. Come on, we know we're at the end of the credits. I like to think Caesar. No, no, not the actual Caesar. Just this guy we know named Caesar. I do love the design of the meat circus as well, even if I don't like it at so much as a level. Like the design of the the different enemies and such, like the knife thrower, the fat lady, the stitched together rabbits. Stitch together rabbit monstrosity. Ah, uh, and we have the good old camp photo, so we can always remember our our good times that we had that summer at Camp Whispering Rock with good old Bobby terrorizing us and our friends. Maloof essentially terrorizing anybody who got on his bad side. The, all the love triangles that really didn't mean anything. Those two crazed cheerleaders who were planning on poisoning everybody, or... Oh, man. Now that I think of it... Ugh. Oh. Yeah, no, I, I don't want to go back to Camp Whispering Rock. <laughs> and, of course, we have the Double Fine production team. Thank you, all of you. Give us another one. 
Oh, actually, I can show you guys right now one of the glitches. This might take a second, so if it does take a while, I'm going to probably cut to it. But, you know how I was getting some high jumps sometimes by going around this brain? There is actually a way. Let's, I need to go a little further so because I want to get a straight go around. There is a way to jump high enough that you will just continuously go around the brain. And the easiest way is to set up the brain like this. The easiest way I've found is to set up the brain like this. Hold space, or whatever you're using for a jump button, because I mean this was on consoles as well, and just press forward. Of course it would be much easier if I got it straight, but of course it's going to wobble a little bit. Whoops. Well, I couldn't get it, so... <laughs> Whoops. Anyway. Like I said, I will be going back to collect everything, so... You'll notice that they give you this teleport guy right here. And you can go back to the collective unconscious. You still have the smelling salts and the... Oh wait, yeah, we have the smelling salts. Man, these things smell terrible. I never actually. Are you sure, I want to do this. I have no idea what these will do. I'm ready. Cause we're 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 just a brain. But I'm curious, and we always we have the bacon as well to get back to the camp. So, ah, no, it just takes us to the collective unconscious. Now, what about the bacon? Huh? No, we cannot get out anymore. Nothing more to report at this time. Crawl around. So anyway, that is it, guys. That is Let's Play Psychonauts. As you can see, there's still stuff left to collect. I'll get all that, like I said. But for right now, I am declaring the main part of the Let's Play officially over. Because, well, I just um, I don't I'm done with it. <laughs> now there are sometimes things you can see in the collective unconscious I believe as well in the background I'm, I'm never actually sure I'm not seeing anything I'm not spotting anything at least oh, I thought there was something oh well let's jump off shall we <laughs> alright so anyway, thank you guys for watching this Let's Play, and this has been MioxFu with Let's Play Psychonauts. So I'll see you guys on the next Let's Play, whichever one I decide that to be. Whether I decide to finish up an older Let's Play that's been on the back burner because of problems, or whether I decide to pick up something new, I'm not really sure yet. In any case, I'll see you later. Take it easy.